Bethel family, we have two needs. One is that we need to provide better care for those that are presently a part of Bethel, that is, for you. The other is that we have a great need to attract new people to Bethel. We want to be a good resource to you and on your walk with Jesus. So besides what we are doing currently, we plan on adding additional items. We also want to be faithful to the Great Commission, and so we will be creating ways to re reach new people as well. So you see how we have a tension between you and new people. Uh, there are two ways we plan on upgrading our service to you. First, during this month, I will be working with the connection group, small group, and ministry team leaders to assure that someone is regularly in contact with you to pray with you, be a support to you, and be an ear to any needs that you may have. Now, despite our best efforts, we may still make mistakes and overlook someone or a need. We hope that you will help us better serve you. Now, we can potentially do that if you share your expectations with us. So if you have expectations of Bethel, please share that with a connection group, small group, ministry team leader, or myself. Please be reasonable in your request. Our primary goal is to help you grow in your spiritual life. However, we do want to help you with anything else that we can. This does not mean that we will pay all your bills, find you a job, or fix or repair in your home. But since we do some things like that, just ask and we might be able to take care of those kind of needs. As long as you're open to there being things we are not able to do for you in those kind of categories. We will attempt to do everything we can despite that. So you won't know unless you ask. So just ask us. But above all, please don't hold us accountable for expectations that you did not tell us about. Communicate with us and we'll do our best to do whatever we can for you. Uh, as I've said in previous posts and videos, this year we will look to implement routine ways for you to provide input into the life of the church. We hope to offer open forums once a quarter and anonymous surveys. Uh, hopefully you will participate in sharing your viewpoints with the life of the leadership of the church. The second way we aim to serve you is creating training in areas like prayer life, Bible consumption, Bible interpretation skills, personal development, personal purpose development, leadership skills, and character development. Some of the personal development help would be in areas like social skills, marriage, parenting, finances, developing theology, emotional development, intellectual development, etc. I plan on developing a program of virtual training with available coaching uh, in person for each area. As an area is available, I will let you know. Uh, the training would involve an instructional video, a list of recommended internet resources, book resources, and local events, ministry trainings that are available inside or outside of Bethel, and that availability and the availability for a coach to provide you personal guidance as needed. I hope you will take advantage of anything offered to help you grow in the Lord. Lastly, we must reach more people for Jesus. First, because Jesus commanded us to do it. Second, because those outside the church need what Jesus brings into our lives. Third, because we need more people in our fellowship. More people means more energy and more resources. One action we are taking is that we have hired a company with a proven track record that uses Facebook ads to offer prayer for others uh, outside in the community to get visitors coming to our church through ministering to them first before being invited to the church. This month, we will be, be training our ministry team to be ready to provide a healthy response and service to all new people, and we'll start the, the ads on February the 1st. In March, we will begin a door-to-door -door campaign to connect with our neighbors and hopefully uncover ideas for creating a ministry program to the neighborhood during the summer. Though this has been a difficult season, I believe that if we let him do so, the Lord can use it to make us better people than we were before doing better ministry than we were before. I'm not willing to let COVID step in and bring a, to a halt what the Lord has been doing through Bethel for 49 years. Are you? Let's build a better Bethel together. Thank you for being a part of that. May God richly bless you.